shit ass Joker. <laughs> Not even the good one. You know, I don't even know why they did this. Like, you know, they should have done the fucking Arkham Asylum Joker. No, they should have just left him alone. Like, because it, it makes no sense for him to look like that. Because if he played like the game, yeah, Marvel game, like. Joker looks normal in Injustice, yeah. and the ver the only reason he's even in this game is because he shows up in like a hallucination from Harley, where he looks like this for some reason. Like we saw, he's a sexy drag queen. No, <laughs> he's none of those words. True, he's not sexy nor a drag queen. He's not sexy. He he is a drag. I'll give him that. He is a major drag. Well, then there's one word that can compliment, but him. not in the context. <laughs> I'm not. I'm really not. <laughs> I can tell. There we go. Okay. Yay. <sighs> All right. Intros. Hi, everybody. It's your pal Smiley with a special guest today. Nah, I'm Tickle. <laughs> yes, Tickle the Turtle. I am not a racist. I have a filthy shell back right here. And your smile is really crappy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so this is my buddy Garrett. Josh isn't here today because he has a shit schedule. <laughs> How are you? And so we decided to do this. Yes. Two players select control. Okay, yeah. It should be working. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yay. And you are player one with the fancy Xbox controller while I use the Switch controller. Mm -hmm. right, so oh, are you fucking kidding me? All the player two characters are at level one? <laughs> <laughs> fucking God, are you kidding me? <laughs> Granted, most of the ones on mine aren't that high, but I got like Batman at level 30. There's like there's at least two or three of them that are at level thirty. Who the hell is Black Manta? He's Aquaman's arch nemesis, ah. and he lives. He is a black man who is themed after a manta. Apparently so. I mean, yeah. Wait, do I have? Do I at least have? I'm gonna go with the Flash. The Flash. The Flash. The flashlight. <laughs> and then I will go with my <laughs> my favorite. Green Arrow. Yes. Green Arrow. Should we do just random? Yeah, just do random. <laughs> well, you got a Barry, you fucking dick. I hate Barry. <laughs> Barry should have stayed dead. <laughs> That's not nice. I don't care. <laughs> it's the truth. He should have stayed fucking dead. We were better off without him. Wally had more than dick in his place. Yes. And you're gonna get. I'm gonna William tell your ass. Whoa. Just, you know, I, I don't really play fighting games much, <laughs> so I'm probably not going to be, like, that good to any of you, like, hot Jesus shit Christ. competitive fighting game people. Shut up. Ah. Eat bear trap. Ah! No. Eat fire. Oh, you son of a... Oh, fire. No, come on. Shut up, fire. Ah, fire. Yeah. Okay, how about this? Ice. Ah. God damn it. <laughs> Ice. And then I beat you. <laughs> This isn't fun. Why isn't it fun? Y this is your idea. Who asked for this? I shocked you with the face. I, I just saw that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just remembered I got it. So I have a, to I have a tale to tell today. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I don't know why I kept jumping back with that. I literally let go of the controller. Ah, fuck. No. None of that. But, uh... Dog, you tried to fucking barrel me. <laughs> but, no, but so, um... Yeah, so yesterday I was at work, I got up close and personal with a dumpster. Uh, this is not the first time I've done that, because every once in a while, you know, our, like, our neighborhood, at least my neighborhood, is, like, on the cusp between, you know, the bougie, frou-frou, high-class people and the hard ghetto. <laughs> so we get a mix of everybody. That's an understatement, to be honest with you. Yeah. It, I, I blocked you. Fuck off. You, you can try, you, you fool me once, won't fool me again. Oh, I didn't even notice it. It, re it makes my level relative to whatever it is. <laughs> okay, then I don't need to even waste all that time leveling the characters when I do this with Josh. Fuck. <laughs> all right. But yeah, so yeah, every once in a while, people whilst high... Want to rematch or new, new fighter? New fighter. But so whilst high, we'll throw the valuables away in our trash yeah, at the gas station. Like, you know, jewelry, documents, drugs. A lot of the time, drugs. A lot of needles of heroin. No, mostly weed. Okay. This is a very big weed town. Yeah, you know, true. Weed, weed Central USA. Yeah. Uh, this time I will be. I won't be her because I can't use the Power Girl skin. 
but you can, and now I'm annoyed. <laughs> I will be the, the crimson cowl. <laughs> Ninja turtle. Yes. So continue with the story. Alright, yeah, so people throw shit away, and if it's someone I know, or they're hot, I will help them get it out of the dumpster, if it's all, if it ends up in there. Uh, today was the latter. Or yesterday was the latter. It was like, a hot Latina girl with a thick ass, which you know is like my third biggest weakness. Yes. It was like, oh, could you help me? My boyfriend threw away my golden necklace and you know, threw it in the trash. And I was like, alright, fine. I, plus, I had nothing better to do. I got all my shit done in like three hours of a five hour shift. So I was like, this will kill some time. I don't even know. I just realized I don't even know how to play Red <laughs> I've used him maybe once. And you have the handicap of brothers. I do. But, uh... <laughs> what the fuck? What did I just throw? But, yeah, so she asked. And so I was like, okay, let's go over to the dumpster. Fuck it. Whatever. And so we go over. I There's phase one. I grab, like, the shit that's on the top layer. We do not find it. Phase two. Jesus I grab Christ. some of the milk crates that we have from, like, holding soda and shit. And I, like, lean, start leaning over into the can. What the? Oh, like, I, I can twirl my guns. Ooh. Voulez-vous français? <laughs> oui, oui, baguette. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, like, I, we get in. And then the third layer, I can't get that far in without actually getting into the fucking dumpster. And, like, I don't know you. I'm not going that far. Like, if it were for my friend, I would probably get in the dumpster. This is just some girl I don't know. So she's like, okay... Hold me while I, you know, lead into it. So I was like, okay, are you sure? Because, like, the only way she get it is if she goes, like, all the way in, and I'm basically holding on to her ass. <laughs> like, with my face planted in it. <laughs> was, it was it juicy? Uh, yes, it was. Nice. was. And I wasn't, like, a creep about it. I was nice. like, hey, hey, okay. No, I was like, are you sure? That, you know, are you comfortable with that? She's yeah, fine. Just fuck it. Whatever. I don't care. And I was like, all right. And so <laughs> that goes on for a while. We finally find it after, like, 15 minutes. We had to go through, like, six different bags. And then we found the necklace. It was in a pee cup for some reason. Because like, I guess her boyfriend put it in like one of those like urine sample cups. <laughs> and then threw it in the trash at a random gas station. <laughs> Ooh, the, that she was like so happy like that we found her. She gave me like $15. Nice. And I was like, okay. Yeah, I, I got to kill some time. Got $15 and got up close and personal with some fat ass. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, you won't hear me complaining. And he, stuck, he probably stuck his face in the ass too. Uh, close. She almost fell in at one point, and I had to get a better grip. Well, did you grab the ass, Jason, and hoist her like a forklift? No, I was, like, holding around, like, her thighs. Ah. And she, like, leaned into it. But I had to, like, hold on, or else she would have just fallen all the way the fuck in. Because it's a big dumpster. Like, it's, like, a double size compared to, like, an old dumpster. Like, it's right. almost as tall as I am. Okay, I'm probably going to lose because I was focused on the dumpster ass <laughs> story. See if I can turn this around. <laughs> I don't we know how to use him. We also have a new Reddit. Oh yes, we have. Oh no, no, let's not let's not talk about. Okay, that let's not here. talk about that. It involves a lot of inappropriate stuff. Exactly, yeah. It's, it's not about <laughs> it. Though we do have a channel Reddit now. I think I might have brought it up a couple of times. I usually we only really post like updates on videos on there right now, but yeah, it's there. Get on it if you feel like it. I don't fucking oh, care. Ha ha ha! I turned it around. The power of <laughs> yeah, ass just, compels me. I did what a dick does in a cold shower. I did a, I did the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> Who takes a cold shower? I do. I'm a <laughs> fucking creep. Why would you take a cold shower? Because it wakes me up. But it doesn't get you clean. <laughs> yes. You can't get clean in a cold shower. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Would you wash dishes with cold water? I mean, if the situation tends for it. No, but if it's <laughs> if you don't have hot water, but when you have the option, yeah. I will take a cue from you and be the other character who has no business being here. Who's that? Hellboy. <laughs> okay then. Yeah, like for some reason they have there's like Hellboy and the Ninja Turtles, which now, I guess they're like. I'll be Raiden, who has no business being in here either. Well, it's because it's made by Nether Realm. Oh, okay, never mind then. Yeah, Scorpion was in the first one, and Sub Zero and Raiden are in this one. All right, I'll be Gorilla Groot. Grod. Whatever. Say it right. This is Gorilla Grod. Happy there you now. Go. Happy now. Yes. Speaking of baby dicks. <laughs> not for gorillas have like micro penises. I'm not. So, yeah, I know that. Because <laughs> why are you staring at fucking gorilla dicks? I'm not. I just heard that. Okay. I don't remember what it was. I think. Oh no, I remember. It was um, you know, Todd in the Shadows. Yes. 
uh, I was watching. He did a review of that Bruno Mars song, Gorillas, and ah. he talked about <laughs> like you know you talk about fucking like gorillas. They they are very low sex drive and have like tiny penises. <laughs> like not a good look. Now you know why tigers eat their young. What? Now you know why tigers. Because tiger. they have tiny penises. Yes. That's why? I guess. There's a correlation between one and the other? It's a culmination between tiny penis and big ass. Uh, but what do either of those <laughs> things lead to child cannibalism? <laughs> this is just a mon two, like a monkey and a devil smacking each other. <laughs> this is the real Smackdown. Yeah, this is Smackdown vs. Raw 2000 style. Eh. I, ha I have a couple of those. We should play those at some yeah, point. I, I, I know literally jack and shit yeah, about so wrestling. So you I, I love wrestling games, not gonna lie. E. We were going to play Rumble Roses, but like, it, like it's complicated. Yeah. We're gonna do it at some point, though, because I fucking love that game. Yes. Eh. Yeah, 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 See, I, I keep looking at your power meter <laughs> thinking it's mine because I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm not used to playing player two. I just blasted your ass in the air. How do you feel? Yeah, I'm punching you in your baby dick. <laughs> How okay, you feel? I can do that too. <laughs> I blocked it. Thunderbolt! Thunderbolt! <laughs> sword fight! Have you done that? What, sword fight? Yeah. I've done it. Like my actual penis? No. Yeah. No. Why not? Uh, because I have no bros that would do it with me. <laughs> I'll do it with you. Okay. <laughs> Bet. You gotta, you gotta find a real bro. You, yeah, and I think you'll agree with this point too. You have, you don't have a real friend unless you've seen the other friend's penis. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, or at least you're you're comfortable with the idea. <laughs> yeah, trust me, I've been in situations where I've seen my friend's dick, and it's just fully erect when he's out of bed after a drunken night. I had a friend who literally was just jerking off while I was in the room, like <laughs> not, not even like at night. Where so he was just like, "Hey, don't turn around." He was just jerking off for no reason. <laughs> And then I forgot about it because it was like 30 minutes later. And I was like, hey, and he still had it out. And he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? I'm just you, you, I'm just sitting here. We're hanging out. And you just decide to start jerking off for no reason. <laughs> My question is, how the fuck do you last that long? I don't know. For 30 fucking minutes. I have no idea. Okay. And I'm just fucking sitting there playing Assassin's Creed. <laughs> now, that's a bro moment right there. Playing Assassin's Creed while your friend's jerking off in the corner. In the I guess. Position. In well, no, it was just in his bed, just <laughs> laying sprawled out, just jacking it. <laughs> under the, under, you see the fucking hand go up and down the covers. No, he was above the covers. Uh -huh. He just he just whipped his dick out and started <laughs> jerking off. <laughs> well, I'm just there it's for no reason. <laughs> oh, my God. That's I bring it up occasionally. He gets pissed off about it. He's like, dude, why are you talking about it? Why were you doing it? <laughs> I'll, you know, be, like, I'll be Black Manta. I'll be... I won't be Shit Joker. <laughs> I will be the Black Cannery. Ooh. So we're both Here, black. You, you choose. Uh, you have the controller. Oh, I do. Yeah. Okay, Is it so. random? Okay. So now we're both black. Yes, we are black, and we are proud. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, it's like Deadpool, Black Tom, my favorite African American superhero. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a joke for you. What's the difference between acne and the Catholic Church? <laughs> what is it? Acne comes on 12-year-olds before the fact. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with those. Don't pull out the racist one. <laughs> I will not. Okay. I just, <laughs> I, I just wanted to make sure that was clear. <laughs> yeah, it was clear. Okay. Trust me, I know. We're a family channel. <laughs> a family, well, the Catholic church isn't really family friendly. Yeah, I was, I, I'm a good Catholic boy. Okay. I'm a good... He's the, he's the good noodle, <laughs> mind you. You're you're the bad, stale, decrepit noodle. I'm the I'm Patrick Star I'm the Patrick Starling group. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fat and blubbery. Not, yeah. Dude, <laughs> well, I'm, said, well I'm a little chubby. Okay. But but compared to me, I could fit Com you in me. <laughs> you know, let's not get fucking giant as far on this shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I've seen worse. Yeah, yeah, me too. I've seen people do so that's worse. <laughs> people do is not worse. <laughs> yeah. People do is hilarious. <laughs> it is. I love people do. Every I show, I show, did I tell you the story when I showed it to one of my buddies? No. <laughs> okay. So I'm over at my buddy's Luke, Luca's house. Luca, by the way, shout out, love you, bro. Um, so I said, I said to him, um, hey, dude, have you ever watched this series called People Do? <laughs> and the Super Fuck Friends. <laughs> and the Super Fuck Friends. And he was like, no, what is it? I'm like, I'll show you. So I pull up the. I think it was, I forgot what episode. It was. Stop pushing. Stop no. doing that to my dick. No. 
<laughs> I, will, I, I will wail on your gnarled necks all day. <laughs> okay, so let me continue the story. So we wanted, I forgot what episode it was, but it was where the, uh, the fucking rabbits are shoving fucking vegetables in their asses. I think that's, what, episode 9 or whatever? I, it's been forever since I watched okay, that. Okay, so, so he's watching it, and he goes to me, and he's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's, it's a French show. The French are very kinky. The French have class. They do. And then my, my, my What's your favorite episode of that series, though, that people do? Okay, it's been a minute since I've <laughs> seen it, but... <sighs> if you had to choose one. The, honestly, the only one I could really distinctly remember off the top of my head are the one with, like, the body shaving yeah. oh my and God, the that wolf was, that, bitch. Uh, Those are the only two I distinctly remember. That one uh, that one was creepy. Yeah, well, because it's supposed to be zombies. True. In a very mm. fucked up manner. Yeah. Uh, my favorite is probably when Peepoo grows a giant penis. So the end. The end part. And but destroys the earth. Also, my favorite part is when um, I forgot what uh, character it was, but they were playing basketball and Peepoo gets shoved up her JJ. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, what, wasn't that like the elephant bitch or something? Yeah, that was the ele- yeah, that was the elephant. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's very. I do not recommend it to young kids. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Firestorm. I feel like 50-50 is the kind of thing it's up there, like Avenue Q. Some fucking stupid parent would see, like, a clip of it and be like, oh, this is wholesome children's oh, like programming. Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Facebook would put that out, to be honest with you. Yeah. Probably. Zuckerberg has no idea what the fuck he's doing anymore. Yeah, of course he doesn't. This little fucking metaverse that no one is using, because, like, why would we? We have VR chat and shit. Meh. And now it's meta. Yeah. When is it? I don't even want to get into that. I have no idea. It's like, why are you calling it meta? Just call it Facebook. You, you invented the fucking thing. Because yeah, he, wants, he wants the metaverse. It's only available in VR, my friend. Yeah, and you know, I love how they always like, oh, we can work in VR. You can go out and socialize and yeah, live the- life in VR. Never leave your home. <laughs> there was a video, I forgot where it was. I think it was on a YouTube channel or a Facebook video. Mm. And it was a guy who just lives in the freaking um, metaverse. Like he, he, like, he doesn't take off his VR goggles at all. That's just sad. <laughs> yeah. <And> Woo! He- <laughs> <buddy>! <laughs> And he's like, would it be better if we just lived in the metaverse? No. No, it would not, because we'd be all brainwashed. Exactly. I, I, I've i seen the first two seasons of Sword Art Online. I don't want to do that <laughs> shit. Oh, there's... I, I found a shop on Facebook where they sell, like, mini katanas that are, like, like, ten inches long. Fun. And they're from, like, different animes. Interesting. Yes. Because you, you are a burgeoning weeb. Yes, I am a burgeoning weeb. I started watching Super Sentai. <laughs> So that, that'll get you extra weeb points, because that's an even weebier thing. Because <laughs> it doesn't even have, like, a mainstream appeal. Oh, I know it doesn't, but it's a freaking awesome series. Yes, you said you started Jetman, yeah? Yeah, I did. How many episodes have you watched so far? Um, I've watched, like, half of the first one. It, I, I, it just keeps me enthralled. I love, like, the so... I love... Not gonna lie, I love the soap opera of it. Yes, that like that, <laughs> that's what I love about that season. It's so good, and it, and it's v- very satisfying to realize that this is where Power Rangers came from, and they don't have the stupid teenagers in high school shit. Well, some of them do. But yeah, but but Jetman in particular. Yeah, there's one character who is. You haven't met her yet, okay. but she's fine. Okay. She's the good girl of the two. Okay. The other one is. Fuck it, I hate her so much. <laughs> like I said, White Swan is literally... I hate her, like, more than any well, other the, Sentai the, character. The, the main character of Jetman, his girlfriend died way too early. You'll find out where that goes. Okay. There's a lot more going okay. on <laughs> You will see, my friend. Okay. Then I am in store for for something else. Yes, I will try Hardly Quinn. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna try Bane. Oh, you want to break Harley Quinn? You're going to blow up this injustice. Yes, I am Sean Connery. No, have you watched the Harley <laughs> Quinn show? I have not. The first season starts bad, gets good. Second season is great, then ruins it at the end. Third season so far has been mostly garbage. Like, they spent the first two seasons building up the relationship between Ivy and Kite Man, and it was great. And then they was like, no, we have to support the crack ship that's super toxic as fuck <laughs> of Harley and Ivy, because it'll get us internet points. Like... <laughs> 
Which fucking like I'm I'm bi. I support LGBT shit. Yeah. But like it's a toxic crack ship. It cannot work in like almost any continuity. And you wasted two seasons of like of stuff just to do that. It was so stupid. And they got rid of Doctor Psycho, who was like my favorite. At, well, after King Shark and Clayface, because <laughs> you know, King Shark he's voiced by Ron Funches, so automatically he's great. And then Clayface is Alan Tudyk. It's like I love both of them. Now here's a really good question for you, Tim. Mm -hmm. Who? What's your favorite out of all the Power Rangers series, American wise? Uh -huh. What's your favorite series? I haven't seen a ton of it because like it was not something I really watched as okay. a kid. Okay. But of what I've seen, of what you've seen though, let's, I'd let's go probably that. say either. Time Force or SPD. Time, you know what? Time Force was actually a really dark series. Yeah, the, no, see, that's the thing. It's what it was to my knowledge. I think it was the first one they mostly just straight adapted the Sentai. Yes. To an extent. Yeah, but they but did not it, as far. They did it very badly, though, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. Well, um, when you watch Time Ranger, you'll see. Like Time Ranger is really good. Okay. Like I, like I told you, dead ass. Tenth episode, the Pink Ranger faces the guy who murdered her family in front yeah, of her as a child yeah, told me that. and has him point blank with a bazooka and is ready to just fucking blow his head off. <laughs> Ten episodes in, it's a 50 episode series. It only gets darker. That's a face only a mother can love. Yes. <laughs> ah, fuck, I hit rematch. No. Okay, rematch? No. Oh, okay. Like, there's like, you remember in, in uh, Time Force, there was the guy who was, like, her former partner, and then he went rogue and betrayed her? Yes. No, in the Sentai, he was her stalker. Okay, then. Yeah, who became a criminal to get her attention. Jesus. Yeah, like, it gets so fucked. And her, she has, like, this whole arc with, like, the main villain. Because, you know, the main villains in Time Force were, like, you know, we're mutants and we want rights and all that. Yeah. No, in Time Ranger, they're a crime family. Like, a mafia family. And the big fat whale guy is the main villain. Yeah. And she wants to kill him because he ordered the hit on her family. Yeah. And, like, she has this... You, you, have you seen the Street Fighter movie, yeah? With, think, the old so. one with Raul Julia? I don't think so, no. Oh, you should. It's terrible, but it's fun. But there's this, <laughs> so, so is the Mortal Kombat movie. Yes. But no, there's this scene in that where, like, cause, you know, Chun-Li's whole thing in that is that she wants to kill Bison because he destroyed her village. And he's like, oh, you've held on to this for so many years. For you, it was the most important day in your life. For me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> and she has that same moment because, like, she vows to not kill him because she wants to bring him in properly to avenge her family. And then he gets killed and, like, dies in front of her. So she doesn't even get the satisfaction of bringing him in. And then and he basically says the same thing. Like, I don't even know who the fuck you are. <sighs> it's so good. <laughs> um, now, my favorite Power Rangers. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, my favorite. Jesus Christ? I didn't know he was a Power Ranger. <laughs> um... My favorite Power Ranger series of all time, though, has to be um, mm. Wild Force. There, there, it's a tie between three of them. Okay. Dino Thunder, Ninja Storm, and... Uh, oh, because so there's like the first three of the Disney era, basically. Yeah, basically. But it, but they were really well made. Wild Force is like, from what I've heard, it's, also, it's another one they mostly straight adapted the Sentai. Yes. Which is like, what pe a lot of people complain about it, because like, a lot of the dialogue is kind of stilted. And it's because they literally just straight translated the Japanese lines, and they don't come out the same way. Like they sound really overwritten. Yes. But that one is good from what I've seen. I, I my one of my friends, he like loves Ninja Storm. Yeah. Like I, I, I don't know enough about either that or Hurricane Ranger to like comment on it. Dino Thunder, I've seen like half of it. I like it. Yeah. But the Sentai is so much better. Yeah. <laughs> that's because that's the one that comes out in uh, November. That told you about Abba oh, Ranger. Right, 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 right. That gets super fucked up. <laughs> Like is is the one I brought it up on the show before. It's my it's a, my go to for like why Sentai is great because like it, it was considered a kid show enough that it had a crossover with a, uh, an anime for toddlers and then had an instance of tentacle rape, the violent death of one of the main characters, <laughs> an episode about the ramifications of child abuse, just all kinds of fucked up shit. It's it's so good. Um, I thought the stupidest Power Rangers series was uh, uh Lightspeed Rescue. Mm. Or would you disagree? No, because I think it's pretty good. It's not, like, the best, but it's not awful. Like, some parts are stupid. Yeah, some well, some parts of all of them are stupid. Like, <laughs> of the ones that I've seen, the one that I fucking hate, and I'm pretty sure I've brought it up on here before, is Lost Galaxy. Ah. Uh. Because it get, it makes less sense the more you think about it. Yeah. And it just gets stupider. And it's like, okay, premise. We're getting a bunch of people to get on this big, massive ship to go find a new planet. Reasonable. Except, they don't have a set destination. 
they have enough... They don't have a set destination. They're just fucking off into space. And they're taking a bunch of random people, like celebrities and shit. Like, families of the people going, fine. They're taking random rich people and celebrities and shit. Yeah. They're like, like oh, no, we're, we're, we're reaching the point we won't be able to contact Earth anymore. Why would you not have some kind of system for that? It's like, oh, well, we're about we're less than a year into our trip, and we're have, we can't go back now. And if we run out of fuel, everyone will die. But you don't have, like, nuclear fuel cells? Is this fucking thing running on diesel? Like, <laughs> why would you do that? I, th- I, mean, like, <laughs> I thought um, In Space was a good one, too. That one's good from what I've seen of it. Yeah. I like the theme song, though. The theme song's badass. Yeah, uh, for In Space? Yeah, that yeah. one's good. Lost but, Galaxies went eh. Like, eh. It's an okay theme. Yeah. The, the, there's also though with Lost Galaxy like they did what they did with some of them where like they completely made whole new villains yeah you know, like the spider guy because you know the, like the pirate guy who shows up yes. midway through he's the main villain of the actual Sentai okay. Captain Zahab <laughs> like the only reason they have the Lost Galaxy at that point in Lost Galaxy is to validate the name and to burn through footage of him and the Yartots which are like the the yeah. pirate little orange guys yes. or the minions yes. that's the only reason that entire arc happens for no, there's no other reason. It's so dumb. Ginga Man, though, as a Sentai, is actually, it's like, it's a mid-tier series. Okay. Like, it's not bad, it's not amazing. Like, there's some really good stuff, but it's pretty, like, slow. It gets kind of, like, boring at points, but it's, like, decent. Now, oh, yeah. now here's a question. Do you think, uh, was it Death Note and Attack on Titan are, like, cliche animes for people to watch? Eh, Death Note, it's not really cliche. It's just, it's a very entry-level thing. Yeah. Attack on Titan is terrible. I've watched. I watched the first season of it twice. It <laughs> bored the absolute shit out of me, and every one of my friends. This was back when it started. Okay. Every one of my friends was like, "Oh, you should read the manga instead." Is it any different? No. Then why the fuck am I going to read it if I didn't like the more like dynamic, visually interesting, with like version yeah. with talking and music? Why am I going to like the one that's just black and white pictures? <laughs> It makes no sense. And then, like, all the different, like, reveals have come out about it. It's like, okay, that's stupid. Let's a do lot Supergirl of... versus Superman. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll play Nazi Superman. <laughs> well, it's less Nazi Superman. There is a Nazi Superman. Nah. His name is Overman. He's from Earth X. It makes sense. Yeah, it's the world where, it's, uh, the world where Hitler won World War II, so it's still going on. And the Freedom Fighters, led by <laughs> Uncle Sam fight them and he's like actual Uncle Sam like he's the f- living embodiment of, Amer- of the spirit of America I want you he does <laughs> Freedom Fighters are good characters I like them it's like at least some versions of them <laughs> Human Bomb is probably one of my favorites just cause his power is awesome even though he has to wear a protective suit True. Plastic Man was part of them in the early days cause it was the 40s <laughs> And they weren't originally, like, a DC thing. Is that, like, the fucking Tin Man from Wizard of Oz? No, no, you don't know Plastic Man? No. Oh, he's one of my favorites. Basically, he was, like, a criminal who was, like, doing a job, and then he got shot, and, like, acid and chemicals got in the wound, and it gave him stretchy powers, like Mr. Fantastic. (laughs) And he's like, I'm gonna turn over a new leaf, and he's, like, a complete doofus. It's like a Stretch Armstrong, almost. Kinda, yeah. (laughs) He's just a complete doofus, but I love him. He's very, like, wholesome. But he, oh, he's, he, he, he's like sometimes he's like oh look at all that money I want that money and then like Batman or somebody like eel and he's like no I'm, I can't I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I gotta be good I gotta be better he, and he's like he's he's very endearing ah. there's all, all except for this one terrible book that uh, Gail Simone wrote Gail Simone is a very overrated writer like she's done some really good stuff yeah. but she's really she's not a dedicated writer she wants to be more like a social media presence and she was involved in some fucked up shit right like there was this whole thing the whisper network because like people thought for years like jokingly oh there's a cabal of like women in the comics industry trying to undermine male creators and shit yeah that was real yeah and she was behind it like she was the leader of it oh my god so yeah that lost her a lot of credibility but she did this terrible Plastic Man series that like he was running a strip club and he was really skeevy and pervy and scummy it was just like, you didn't fucking research this character at all before you wrote this, did you? Like, this is just bad. <laughs> Actually, I met the guy who voiced him in the cartoon in, like, the 70s. Really? Yeah, he was at uh, Terrificon this year. Now, give me a review on Terrificon this year. Was he... It was good. It was, yeah. I thought it could be more. Yeah, well, so you went on Sunday. That, yeah, that... Yeah. Yeah. Sunday is the day when like everyone's packing up and leaving. Half the guests are gone. So like yeah, Sunday isn't gonna be as. Good. I think next year I might go on Saturday. Yeah, we usually go on the Saturday. Yeah, because cool. I feel like that's a bit. Even though we took like an hour to freaking park. <laughs> we see we we parked fast. We took an hour to find our car. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hey, hey, it's all in the process. Hey, hey. It's all in the. Uh, it's it's all in the form. It's the adventure. It's yeah. the adventure. Yes. You know, there were like uh, there were a lot of good people. Like I finally met Johnny Youngbosch after he canceled like two years in a row. Oh, really? I was like, yes, and I got him to sign a picture of Lelouch. Nice. And I got, now I have both DCAU Supermans. Cool. Because I got George Newbern at uh, last year's. I will be... I will be Green Lantern. I will also be Green Lantern, okay. to make this really confusing. <laughs> you don't know who's who, but we're a lantern. <laughs> oh, there's like, I think at this point, at least seven Earth Green Lanterns. Because they, they just keep making, like, that's the thing. Like, people are like, oh, there's too many Green Lanterns. Yeah, so stop making them. Like, it was like, you know, the, the, the original in the 40s who had nothing to do with the Green Lantern Corps. Yes. He was, like, fine. Then he had Hal. Then in the, like, between Hal's first appearance and the New 52 starting, they made three more. John, Guy, and Kyle. That was it. So you had only four who were in the core. Then in the past, like, ten years or so, they've made, like, at least four more. Because <laughs> you had Jessica, then there's Simon. Then, oh, there's the Far Sector bitch. Who, like, she's not terrible, but her book is very hit and miss. Because, like, it was so cringe and, like, try hard. Because the whole premise of it was, like, oh, you are going to be a special Green Lantern who goes to this, like, uh, like city that's closed off from the rest <laughs> of the galaxy and a special self-charging ring. And she has, like, a fucking pompadour and anime glasses. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's, it's real weird. And, like, it had a lot of interesting things to say about, like, political corruption oh, and, like, emotions and, like, you know, personal choice and stuff. Like, it had good ideas, but then it would, like, get fucked up because one of the main driving forces was that, like, oh, there's, like, a race of AI people who use memes as drugs. Yes. Like cat memes. <laughs> and shit like that. It's just like, okay, you have this really deep, introspective idea, and then it's memes. It's, <laughs> we, we do memes like cocaine. <laughs> and it's like that. That's real stupid. So cocaine's a meme now. I guess. <laughs> okay then. Like it was, and then they then the, the AIs use those drugs to make real drugs that make the people feel emotions, so they can make more memes. Oh god. Yeah, it was it, like it completely fucked up any potential it had to be taken seriously because it wasn't a terrible idea. It's just the memes part completely destroyed its credibility. Yeah, true. Like every time it started getting like deep and interesting again, it something stupid happened. Yes. And then they, like, she wasn't canon initially because she was part of Gerard Way's imprint. Because he had a, he was, he worked for DC for a while and had an imprint of mostly terrible books. And she was part of that. And it's like, okay, she's not canon. And they're like, no, she's canon now. And it's like, okay, why? <laughs> and then they also did, like, this YA graphic where this, like, little Chinese kid inherits his grandmother's Green Lantern ring. And now they've referenced that in canon too. So that's, <laughs> so, now, so that's another one. Right. And then they also, in Young Justice, they made a new Teen Lantern. Oh, God. Which is not the first one they've had. <laughs> <laughs> and she has, like, a special thing that, like, hacked into the battery. God. It was, she wasn't terrible. She had, like, interesting stuff going on. I gotta get caught up. I'm, like, a, like over almost a year behind on DC shit. Because, mm. like, there's, there's just so much, and I do not oh, have I, the time. I think I hit rematch. Okay. <laughs> no, never mind. Because uh, I had fighter select, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I will be Dark Hole. Dark Hole? Dark Hole. <laughs> I would love for them to have another game where you could play as uh, Dark Khan. Yes. Yeah. You can only, you can only play. This as was him. the last Injustice game I think they bought out. What do you mean? Like, the first Injustice came out on the PS3. Yeah. And then they brought out this one, and then that was it. Well, they, they, the third one is in the works. Oh, it is. Yeah. Uh, who do I want to be? Let's I'll be one Wonder Woman. Okay. Have you watched the Injustice movie? I have not. It's okay. Yeah. Because I don't like Injustice in general. Like, the story... Like, the gameplay is fine. Yeah. The story, I hate. Because it's just like, oh, what if Superman was evil? Which is just so fucking boring. <laughs> like, there... It, it has been done in interesting ways, but this is just fucking boring. And, like, Wonder Woman is like his Vasir whispering to him, yes, do evil, little evil shit things. Because a lot of writers just don't understand how to fucking write Wonder Woman. Because <laughs> they, they focus on the warrior thing that's I, not her main thing. I thought the movie was pretty good. Which one, Wonder Woman? The first one. The, yeah, the first one was pretty good. The second one is absolute shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it whether like time travel or whatever? No, it's because like because the first one was set in like the like the during World War One or two. I think it was World War One. Yeah, so that one. The second one was set in like the eighties. And, like, it introduced Maxwell Lord, who's, like, a pretty significant villain, especially with Wonder Woman, because she broke his fucking neck. <laughs> and, like, cause he, his whole thing was he was, like, the liaison for Justice League International, and then he turned evil for no real good reason. 
and then he killed the blue beetle. <laughs> yeah, it was dumb. So she killed him, and so everyone's like, "Oh, he, him, and Cheetah are gonna be in this movie. It could be really good." Both of them are, both of them suck. Because his whole thing is he has mind control powers. Yeah. Instead, they made it. Oh, he's got this magic stone that lets him make wishes, and they made him like an '80s business guy. <laughs> I don't think he's close enough. Yeah, you weren't close enough. Yeah. <laughs> But I almost have enough points. Yeah, because you're using the fucking same move every time. Okay, fine. I'll stop using that one. Really? <laughs> what? You <laughs> missed! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a good kiss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, that, that's what she... Uh, he, the, you know what's funny? Both these characters have worked in the fast food industry. Really? <laughs> yeah. There was a point in, like, the 80s uh, re relaunch of Wonder Woman where she worked at a Taco Bell knockoff. And there was a point in an Ambush Bug book. You know who Ambush Bug? He's like, he was like a precursor to Deadpool, kind of. Okay. He was just like a wacky fourth wall breaking guy. And he had a four, he, like, he had his miniseries yeah. where every, his, like, dark side was on the cover in, like, every issue. Okay. So at the end of every issue, he just randomly find dark side places. And one of them was working at McDonald's <laughs> with his little paper hat on. Yeah. Um... Uh, we we should have gone to see the new Clerks movie tonight, mm. but you know what? I'm not really into it. I've never seen any of them. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, like I'm aware of it, but I've never actually seen them. Cause like I like Kevin Smith's stuff, but not all of it. Right. And he has definitely lost his touch. Yeah, he went downhill after. They almost know, didn't get Jane Saw and Bob in that movie. Actually, the, who the fuck is gonna watch it? Exactly. Like, exactly. They're the main reason people go to see most of his movies. I will be one of the biggest assholes in the DC universe. <laughs> no fucking Doctor Fate is a dick. I'll be Brainiac. Ah, so uh, so two two of the biggest dicks in the universe. Exactly. So two dicks fighting as one. Damn. Sword fight. <laughs> but yeah, like after the He Man incident, that like destroyed most of his credibility. True. Remember what happened with that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Made like the He Man show, and then He Man's not in it, and he gets killed, and then Skele God. You know what show I really do miss though? Masters of the Universe. The eighties one or the two thousands one? Eighties one. I never see I never got into the eighties one, but I loved the two thousands one. Like okay. I remember watching it back when it was new. The eighties one is pretty good. Yeah, and it's also one. gay as fuck. <laughs> it's actually funny, like well, let's be honest, it wasn't politically correct back in those days. This is true. No, no, it's actually funny, like a little while ago. The episode actually came out I think uh like last week. Uh, cause Josh and I have been playing Saints Row Gat out of Hell, and he, for some reason he decided the bit for that is gonna be he, like, we do role plays. And he, he loves Skeletor. He's never watched any He-Man anything, he just loves Skeletor in concept. Cause of his, like, ridiculous voice. That's why he goes, what? Like, all the time. And so, he's like, He-Man, you got me skeleton pregnant. And so that, he just kept going on with that. God. <laughs> yeah. It was not funny, but he committed. Ah, I hit you with the freaking ball. Hey, balls in my face, and I, I, I yeah, I impaled you. Don't get me wrong, he loved me, you know. He loved me, big ch sock, Charlie. I can't speak. <laughs> 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 yeah, exactly. Thank you. You justified my means. Yes. Bitch slap. <laughs> Bitch slap. Poke. Bitch slap. Face poke. Pokey pokey. Bitch slap. Face poke. Bitch slap. Face poke. <laughs> I'm not touching you. Is this annoying you? I'm not touching you. Stop it. What are you doing? Oh my god. I'm not touching you. <laughs> I touched you. Yes, you did. In a very inappropriate way. I'm going to call such sex the HR on YouTube. <laughs> you're too small for that. I am the HR department around here. Oh, so you're the dominant female? Yes. <laughs> okay, Teresa. <laughs> okay, Jack Wallen. <laughs> AKA, that's also our personas. Yeah, we've done that in public and freaked the fuck out of people. <laughs> Which is fucking great. We did, we've done it, what, in the mall? Yeah, like that lady at Spencer's who was shocked that you were straight. <laughs> yes! We fucking walked into <laughs> Spencer's doing that. And we were looking at the anime shirts, and as always, I see a Yuri on Ice shirt, and I want it, but they don't have my fucking size because I'm fat. And he's getting into anime, <laughs> so I'm they like... Don't, they don't have baby gorilla size. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's getting into anime, so I'm like, oh, yo, you should... Uh, well, no, you shouldn't watch Yuri on Ice because you're straight. And the fucking <laughs> girl behind the desk is like, wait, you're straight? Because she assumed we were a thing. <laughs> I mean, we could be. Eh. 
You're not my type. Oh. <laughs> I love you, but you, you're not, you're not interested. I'm sorry, Jacqueline. It's okay, Teresa. You're still beautiful in your Maybe own. if I were really drunk on a, on a, on a rainy night. Uh, on a Sauvignon block. <laughs> oh, you just farted in my face. Where <laughs> I farted in your face? Yeah, did you not see that? You threw the little... <laughs> Fart bomb. <laughs> That's another prank I pulled. Did I ever tell you the time I, I threw a, a, you know, a can of liquid ass? Yeah. So I bought it from Spencer's. And uh, me my, and my buddies are in the mall. <laughs> I go into Target and just... I put tape over the top of it. And so I was going... Oh, my God. <laughs> I threw it. You fucking grenaded it? <laughs> yup. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. That was one of the best ones. Josh wrecked a bunch of tights at Spencer's once. What? Yeah, we were in there doing femboy shopping for him. Because he was, like, getting some outfits for the first time. And he left his drink on the floor and it got kicked over and got all over a bunch of tights. <laughs> yeah. And then everyone in the store looked at him like an ass because he walked away and kind of ignored it. <laughs> where, where, whereas I stayed around to try and help, and they were like, no. Which, okay, I respect that. Oh, for, I thought I was swamping for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it could be. That's a movie I haven't watched, actually. Uh, Creature of the Black Lagoon. Mm. I need to watch that. Well, what, what the fuck? What? Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, that... But I'm not touching you. <laughs> is this annoying you? Yeah. I'm not touching you. It is. Why? It's dominant strategy. Aha. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's see if this works. Yeah! Oh god. Ah! Into the freaking pyramids. <laughs> if that if that was a kidney stone, that was a big kidney stone. Pyramids? No! Yeah, you want a kidney stone the size of a pyramid? Go ahead. Not particularly. Well, use what, what, what kidney? No, I was talking about him going through the pyramid up on the top, and then, like, that's a big kidney stone. Okay. Odd choice, but I'll, I'll go with it. <laughs> So you need diverse that's, people. That's what you get for being a fucking eco person. Mm, that's what you get for being somebody I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy. You know what game I would love? I would love to play with you on here. What's that? Zumbinis. Zumbinis. You know what Zumbinis? No. It's this game. It's Zumbinis: The Logical Journey. My sister and I played the fuck out of it in the library when we were kids, and we <laughs> like we have all of them. <laughs> this is like you know. We was like, oh, this is nostalgic. And it's like about these little blue things that you get to customize however you want. I'll be Captain Cold. Isn't that like Fall Guys? Where you no. No? No, that, that, well, yeah, that, but this was like from 20 years ago. Oh, okay. And it was in the library and it's supposed to be educational. You make these little blue things what? that you customize. What? What was that sh uh, show that was educational back in the day? It was uh, that robot guy and uh, his human friend. It was, uh, they... Time Squad? Oh, Tim and Moby? Yeah, that's it. Tim and Moby. Yep. Yeah, I, I remember watching some of those and I got shit for it. Because <laughs> children are dumb. Yes, they are. Me and I don't like kids anyway. I know it was one of my favorite things, though, with that, like, educational shit from school was, uh, Ed Heads. I don't remember that one. You know, Ed Heads? It was like, the, you, do, you do surgeries. No, and it's like medically accurate. And there's pictures of the surgeries in it. For some reason, they let a bunch of third and fifth graders play it. Oh wait, yeah, I remember that. I did that shit all the time. I was the only one who would play it because everyone's like, "That's gross." That's nasty. Thank you, Cleveland. <laughs> oh yeah, so Alice Cooper's playing tonight. Well, for... Ooh, ooh, yes. The Coop Man. The Coop. Yep. The tiny songstress. His his uh, female guitarist isn't with him anymore. He's with, he's with Demi Lovato now. Oh. She's with Demi Lovato. Which I don't even get. I don't know, Demi Lovato's good. She, do, do you listen to Demi Lovato? No. I do. <laughs> her music is good. I mean, her new album isn't bad. I don't know, I, I, I've liked most of her stuff. Yeah, I do not know how to fucking play this character. <laughs> get <I. laughs> I have to. I have to fucking power up my gun. Your big dick gun? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, yes! I finally hit one! <laughs> K! 
Cowabunga, dude. The fucking rider kicks me with a skateboard. <laughs> Goddamn fucking filthy shellbacks. <laughs> Make America foot again. <laughs> shellbacks go home. <laughs> this is why the shredder needs to fucking build that wall around the sewers. Fuck! <laughs> God damn it. Son of a bitch. I will power up my gun and I will get you with it. <laughs> <laughs> now they have now they have a new turtle on the team. Tickle the turtle. Yeah, now, oh yeah, with his buzzsaw feet. Yes. Buzzsaw feet and clammy hands. And his French tickler hands. <laughs> no, his Chinese finger trap hands. Fuck do I use this? <laughs> Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're hurting yourself by hurt by hitting me. Yeah. Leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> I've done nothing. I have. I seek no quarrel with you. Hey, you know, Shellbacks come into a white man's home, <laughs> wreck the place, take his pizza. <laughs> Caution. Oh my god, toasty. I never noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ed Boon ass. <laughs> have you watched the uh, the She-Hulk show yet? I have not. I, and I'm not going to because I know how terrible it is already. It's really not that bad. <laughs> like, it's not good, but it's not the absolute, like, I, reprehensible shitstorm. I just know that, I think storm. you told me that they freaking CGI'd her ass to jiggle when she Yes, because Megan, Megan Thee Stallion was in the third episode, and then at the end of it, they start twerking. <laughs> and, like, they focus on it. Welcome to wokeness, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even wokeness, it was just... That's the... People were compl like, there were people complaining, oh, if any other character did it, no, you you guys wouldn't complain. No. If She-Hulk were written correctly, no one would complain. <laughs> She-Hulk twerking is completely on brand for her. Yeah, true. Like, dick humor is one of her main things. True. It would not be surprising. No, She's no. literally fucked half the people in the Marvel Universe. True. Like, you, she could easily get away with it. It's just the show is badly written, so it's just a, yet another stupid thing in an already bad show. <laughs> Oh, you're playing as the inferior Adam. Yes, I am. Ryan Choi, the one who got stabbed by Deathstroke and put in a matchbox. Ooh. Granted, Bray isn't that good at Adam either. The only one I really like is the original. <laughs> but before he got his powers in that stupid-ass costume. Because mm. the original Adam was just a short guy who hit people. <laughs> that was it. And he sounds, had, like, he, sounds like me. Yeah. His shirt had a cut in it to show off his washboard abs. Uh, that I don't yeah. <laughs> but you could. I just don't want to fucking get it. Well, that's your problem. I know it is. I'm trying to remember how to do the fucking Superman move. No. No. Hold on, wait. Ah, there we go. There we go! <laughs> Come here. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Ow. <laughs> no rude. <laughs> Close up there for a second. Kamehameha. No! You cannot defeat the Kamehameha! Kamehameha! I'll grant you that that is closer to like the fucking Dragon Ball Evolution version. Yes. I fucking hate that movie. You know why you will never defeat me with Raiden? Because I suck as Adam? No, because he has spirit fingers. And those are gold. Oh god. <laughs> Go inside his butthole! <laughs> Go inside his pee hole. There's this really stupid point where, like, they almost actually did that in, in the comics. Oh my god. Because there's this terrible writer, uh, Colin Bunn. Uh, no, not Colin Bunn. Colin Bunn's a good writer. Uh, Donny Cates, that was it. Ah. His, I fucking hate almost everything he's ever written. It's just terrible edgelord shit. <laughs> and he did this one series that was actually pretty entertaining. It was, uh, like a History of the Marvel Universe thing with Cosmic Ghost Rider. Okay. Like, retconning him into it. And he's, he's basically, when the when the Hulk first showed up in Avengers, he was pretending to be a robot clown. Yeah. And then he goes over to him and it's like, hey, you know, couldn't you just get inside his butthole and expand? And he almost fucking does it. Yeah. Like, he legitimately considers it because people do not like Scott, uh, do not like Hank. So should I buy that Game Room floor ball? Go for it. Should I get the red one? Jam it in your pee hole. Yes. Or I found the uh, thermos one. 
Yeah, that one's good, but does it say jam it in your pee hole? No, it does not. Well. So I am going to jam it in your pee hole. <laughs> make sure it comes with the catheter extension. <laughs> and a railroad spike on the end. There you go. <laughs> Oh, did you see the fucking thing from the 10-minute power hour where Aaron was drinking out of an enema? No! Wait, we'll watch that when we when we finish this. Okay. How much shall I go to, like, one more round? Yeah. Okay. One more round. One more round to, one more to win, round. To win and, them all. And I will lose again. <laughs> yeah, you won a couple of times. No, I won once. You won at least twice. Stop it. To my recollection. Stop it. Though I, I have the memory of a goldfish. And I have a memory of a small pea. <laughs> <laughs> have a small pee. Well, it's not what she said. To be extra disrespectful, I will be shit joke. <laughs> okay, I'll be Catwoman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was half expecting him to cut himself. <laughs> I mean, it could be. Yeah. Where are we going to now? I don't know. Oh, go up one and to the right. I can't. Oh, I'm in control for some reason. <laughs> Gorilla City. City. When the lights go down in the city <laughs> And the gorillas are on the bay Bananas everywhere Is this where you bring out your toad voice? No. I bring out my toad voice when I have to bring out my toad voice. <laughs> okay. We can play a Mario thing at some point. I have the fucking GameCube emulator on this computer. Ooh. So we could do, like, Mario Strikers or something. Do you have uh, Mario Kart on here? Uh, I don't have any of them on here right now, but I could get them. I think the only stuff I have on on there right now is Pikmin, like the original. There's... Um, I heard something. Remember the Pac-Man World game? Yes. Like 3D Pac-Man. They're, yeah, they're they're re-releasing one of yeah, them. Yeah, I can't wait for that. I never really played those. I played like one of them. They're alright. I remember playing like a little bit of one Can of them. You on, stop like, a... shooting your gun. No. Come at me. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Missed. Missed. Ha! <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> Aha! Ow. Damn it. Oh shit. Damn it! Haha! <laughs> I know they're making Joker 2. I, I heard about that. I still haven't watched the first one. Oh, you gotta watch it. It's so fucking good. Like, it's easily the best Joker portrayal since Nicholson. Mm. Even though it's, like, the least accurate. Actually, no, it's not the least accurate. Fucking Heath Ledger is still the least accurate. Yeah, true. Like, people, like, seriously, Will, Heath Ledger, he's, he, was, he was a fine actor. He was the shit Joker, not because of his fault. It was just badly written. Yes. As I said it before on here, I'll say it again. Those movies are not bad movies. They are bad, at least the first two, they are bad Batman movies. And bad acting. Yeah, some of it. Some of it. It's just like the main thing is they're not Batman movies. They're shitty action movies with like a I can't believe it's not Batman coding. It's like I, I can't believe it's not butter. Yes, that's why I said that. <laughs> Thank you for ma you're making the point of my joke clear. You're welcome. Uh, all right. Uh, I, I am Captain Obvious. Thank you, Catherine Obvious. <laughs> you're welcome, Teresa Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that's going to be it for today. Many thanks to uh, Tickles the Turtle coming on for the first of what will hopefully be many times. And Tickle thanks to you for having me on. <laughs> now, go the fuck home. now go the fuck home, you dirty shellback.